Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd show you how to make a retractable bridge in Minecraft. So I'm going to show you a couple of different versions I have of this, then I'm going to show you the primary circuit that makes them up, and then I'll go back to each one and show you how it's constructed out of that base circuit. So the first uh, demonstration is this one, and if we click this lever, you'll see that the bridge comes out from each side there are a total of six blocks in between each end of the bridge there, so it makes a six block gap. And if we click this again, it totally retracts. So that's the first model right there. The second model I have right here actually has four blocks going across right here. It's the way I have it constructed here, there's only one block wide, but you could double this up if you wanted to. If we click this switch, it retracts all the way in. If you click it again, it comes all the way out. And it actually, there's a longer bridge that extends it, so it's just a gap of four right here. But you could make a much longer bridge if you wanted to uh, right here as well. So that's the other version of this that I have. So it's made out of this circuit, basically. Now, there's some problems with movable bridges because uh, redstone doesn't work exactly the same, or where redstone's pistons are actually the problem, I believe. In uh, Bedrock and in Java, they, there's some slightly different ways that the pistons react that cause some of the uh, designs only to work in Java. This particular design will work in both Java and in Bedrock. And so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click this switch. You see, see right here, these three pistons are all lined up right now. If I click this switch, it pushes them all out. And uh, if I click it again, sometimes it does not shut all the way. it lines them all back up. Every now and then it, it will kind of get stuck right here and you just have to click the switch twice to get it to uh, draw back all of the way. Uh, so let's uh, let's build this basic circuit. I'm going to make a block of three stairs here or stair step type things. So we're going to go here like this Alright, so this is kind of the base right here. Then we're going to need some obsidian, which are they, they don't move, and that's very important that uh, they do not move. Uh, because what, what happens is we're going to be using slime or honey uh, on the sticky pistons to be able to move the, the blocks, as you'll see. And so if you don't have immovable blocks, uh, what will happen is the... Uh, the uh, honey or the uh, slime will pull those along too which you don't want so then we're going to put one more up here like this now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put down some relays they're going to be facing the arrows here are facing this direction and we're going to put two sets down now we use this uh, to delay the uh, pistons and so we're going to actually move this all the way over four so that both of these are the same right now and then we're going to move this one one more the nice thing about this setup is if you have a problem with the timing for whatever reason you could actually adjust this but this should work uh, regardless so then the next thing that we have over here is uh, the switch right up here Oh, the problem we have here is I need to move this one more. We need another block right here. So if we put these back here like this, move this out like this, and then this one should be one extra, and then we can put some redstone down like this, and then we put our switch right here. Redstone lights up, everything's good there. All right, so so now what we need to do is we need to put one block here because we're gonna set our pistons on top of this. We want our pistons facing this direction. 
and then we're going to put our slime here. You could use honey for this, and if you use multiple sections, as we'll see, you'll want to alternate between uh, honey and slime, but we're going to use slime for this one. We need three things. We need three extra out there. And what we're going to do is put these blocks, which would be the bridge right here. And uh, we've got everything set there. So if we hit this switch, you'll see it extends out uh, the three blocks all the way out using these three pistons. If we click it back, it brings it all the way back. And once again, sometimes uh, every now and then this two will move back and won't move back to the third one. You just have to uh, click the switch twice and let it go out and back in again, and it should line back up. So anyway, that's the basic design of of the the circuit. And now I'll uh, I'll show you how each of these uh, bridges work. On this one, we'll go here first. This looks a lot more complex. Basically, it's just this circuit, but we've added another piston here. And in order to add another piston, uh, we've added one more stair. And we've increased the circuit here. This switch doesn't do anything. That was for testing purposes, so you could actually take that out, I believe. And then we have another set of um, relays up here. And this one is delayed. Uh, and you can mess with how much it's delayed. But I've delayed each one, I think, four clicks on here. And that works fine. Uh, but we're using here a redstone block to power this uh, up at the top. And a piston, a sticky piston, which pulls it up. And the switch is on the top. So when we hit this it pulls this block up and it turns uh, off the redstone and everything retracts. And then if we click this again, it comes back down. So the only thing different in this is we've added a different stair and we had to put a few more relays in and uh, mess with the timing on them uh, somewhat. Th this uh, particular circuit down here should be the the longest delay for these three stairs this one up at the top is actually even longer because the entire bridge has to go out uh, before this last one pushes out so if we um, go up here and, and, and click this and open it again The delay, I guess, is basically for it to come back. It's the last one to come back. So that's a little more complex. It, it makes it so that you can just have kind of like one row wide in, in a gap of four here. Also, because there's kind of a step down, it's harder to get. It would be harder to go in this direction because you're jumping up and you can't jump as uh, many blocks in that direction. This is the final bridge, which I showed you at the beginning. And the way this works is we have two blocks wide coming out. And it's just the same circuit that I explained to you at the beginning. But it repeats four times. So it's mirrored on this side. And there's this redstone connecting it. And there's a... a there are some relays in here that are actually there just to extend the signal because a redstone signal will only go 15 blocks and there's another repeater extending. It goes over here and the same thing is basically on this side. So the, the main thing that you have to be aware of is you'll see that there's honey on one side and slime on the other. Otherwise they, they stick to each other. It messes things up. So So you need to alternate between these like if you made a design with the same circuit and, and did three or four or however many that you came up with, they always have to alternate the honey and the slime. 
and so then once again if we hit this it will open up so that's how you make a retractable redstone bridge in minecraft i'm mungo dark matter and this has been dark matters and whatever you do enjoy the day and i will see you soon don't forget to like share and subscribe